Hey guys, Giant Blade here. I was asked, what do I do in my days when I'm not on YouTube? Well, I do my homework, and, oh, you already got a side of this, see? And I also work on this beast. This bumper, so strong I can pick this thing up without breaking it. Fortunately, I can't do it with one hand. The seat has been replaced from that piece of shit. This thing has no brakes there, but the brakes are actually made by hand. Parking brake, and this thing works. And custom gas pump. This is here, I don't know why, this is here because I want to add a snow plow in the future. Um, something I definitely plan on working on. This entire thing is rewired by my hand it has back feed charging to the battery so when I hook up a battery to this it will charge it but I do not unfortunately right now and this thing has a ton of compression the, it is my first OHV motor though unfortunately so I do not have much experience I have adjusted the valves and I actually adjusted it too tight and a piss and the rod bent so I ended up unbending it and I don't really have any complaints about it now this is kind of like a moody teenager let me say not much gas I can't really start up for you right now, but this thing's kind of like a moody teenager. God, I love that small gas. Here's the air filter, covered in oil. Uh, I kind of planned on taking that off in the future, though. I don't know. Um. It is an IC Gold Engine 14.5 horsepower. Son of a bitch. Uh, I plan on doing a pulley swap in the future. Uh, 5 inch on this, 5 inch on that. Or is it 4 of the 5? 4 inch on front, 5 inch on back. I believe is what I plan on doing. I don't know the size of the pulleys. I just know one smaller and one bigger. Um, but this son of a bitch will definitely ride on your ass. But that seat is very comfy, let me tell you. Um, battery meter needs a fuse replaced. So, I'm gonna probably end up doing that in the near future. Right now, my focus is getting this engine going. We've, I would have had it start tomorrow, but I had, but I was working on the valves while the gas was on. And this actually got wet. So, I looked at it, it's, it's about dried off now. We'll probably start it up later today, and I'll record it for you guys. Anyway guys, here's, I'll give you, Nice thing in its all of its glory. From bumper with the chain. Nice side view. Rear deck. Oh, and I also have a board down here to catch this. And not to mention the other side. I plan on playing a rear bumper on this in the future, but that's near future. Not worried about it. Nice tread on the this back tire here. These back tires. Really nice tread. Um, you can tell it has a lot. Same these front tires. Good tread. I expect it to do good for the mud and snow. If it all out fails, I might end up putting some chains on it. That's probably about it. Small tires though. That's something I'll probably change in the future. Probably put on some car tires. Is what I kind of wanted, like some really good 
car tires with some lot with lots of tread. Turn this thing into like a monster mower. <laughs> or I could lower it and use it as a racer. But right now I really don't see the point in that. Everything's kind of fine with it and all that, so. Yeah. Some bitch is very good looking. Let me tell you. So <laughs> see this bumper? Uh, back steel. Bolted on. The only complaint I have about it is this. Watch it bend back down. See? Which is wearing away the rust. Let me just say. But I might end up reinforcing that in the future. But it's probably good at that because if it hits any rocks underneath at the top, it'll bend down and just push the rock out of the way. I have a nice chain for hauling. And this chain is actually very strong. See? So good for hauling and probably towing. If I do eventually plan on putting a rear bumper on this thing and maybe a winch. I don't know. Tell me what you think I should do with this in the comment sections. I plan on going for a test mud romp, the first drive eh, in the near future. So. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.